Good day everyone, you are warmly welcome to this video tutorial session. You can refer to me as Alexander, an Aladdin professional and also the developer for Aladdin School Time, which has over, over a couple of years evolved to become one of the best code management software in Ghana. This video is the introduction to a video tutorial series that Ghana is Aladdin professionals on how to use Aladdin School Time 2019 Professional Edition effectively to manage your school from creating a school through to printing student terminal report. The whole series is divided into five parts. In part one, we'll talk about how to create and activate a school, how to create term details, how to create classes, and how to create class terms. In part two, We'll talk about how to register students, how to register staff, how to assign teachers to classes and subjects, and how to enroll students in classes. In part three, we'll talk about how to create school fees account, how to set up the default school fees account, how to set up school fees, and how to manage individual student fee items. In part four, we'll talk about how to create bills for students or parents, how to collect student school fees, how to manage school fees defaulters, and how to statistically analyze school fees. The last but not the least in part five, we'll talk about how to manage school-based assessments, how to manage class and exam score assessment, how to cipher student results, and lastly, how to get terminal report for students. Now, in order for us to go through the tutorials with ease, we have provided the following particulars of a certain virtual school to assist in that. These are the particulars for the tutorials. We have the school name, El Shada Academy, with its address over there. We also have the term details. In order to create the term details, you need the academic year, the term, the start date, the end date, the number of May term, the number of holidays, May term day, and lastly, next term begin. So we have all these particulars over here. Then also we have classes. So uh, looking at it, we have three classes. We're going to create three classes. Of course, it's the same DHS1, but having uh, three streams, A, B, and C. And each of the streams is having three streams for the terms. So if you take DHS1 stream A, it has terms A, B, and C. So in summary, one class uh, with three streams, which in turn has three streams each. So here is the hint. The number of classes to be created is three. The number of class terms to be created is nine. We also have 18 students, that is uh, virtual names for the student for, uh, for us to go through the tutorials with ease. We also have 12 staff, those names are just virtual names that we can use to help in our tutorials. We also have other particulars, we have what we call the parent subject and the sub subject. So talking about uh, parent subject, we have sub subjects coming under one parent subject, for instance, we have the basic design and technology BDT having three sub subjects visual art, pre check, and home accounts. All right, okay. Someone may ask why do we have streams for the classes and streams for the terms? Here is the reason classes have streams because the number of students are many, so they need to be divided into the number that can go into a normal physical class. Okay. And then terms have streams because of the different sub subjects that the student do under the parent subject that is being offered uh, in that class. For instance, the BDT. We also have what parent. Okay, we have a parent here called Engineer Doctor uh, Avin Papa Kwamena Amwa. His words are going to be Amwa, Lysander, Anand, Kofi, Yanka, Kojo, Precious, Elan. All this will help us move through the tutorial with much ease. Session 1. How to create and activate a school. Before we start with Session 1, 
let us briefly show you around a bit for you to familiarize yourself with the login, main interface, and dashboard of Aladdin School Time. Login screen. After launching Aladdin School Time from the desktop or applications, the software loads and then the login screen is displayed. Enter your user ID and hit the enter key on your keyboard. Then enter your password. After you have entered your password, hit the enter key again on your keyboard. If your user ID and password are correct, the system will log you in straight into the main interface. Now, let us take a moment to show you around the main interface of Aladdin School Time. This is the menu bar, which contains all the links to the various functionalities of Aladdin School Time. This area displays the user ID and user type of the current user. This is the status bar, showing various status of your school, including the total enrollment for the term. This is where the name of the school is displayed. These two bars also contain shortcuts to various frequently used functionalities like the student registration, enrollment, and administration management, etc. Use these two buttons to either log off or exit from the software. This also contains the contact of the school, whether the system security log is enabled or not, whether SMS is enabled or not, and also display the current date and time of the day. This area is the working area of the Aladdin school time. It displays background pictures periodically if the dashboard is not displayed. You can either pause or play the background pictures by going to view on the menu bar, then clicking on the background pictures, then on pause or play respectively. This displays the logo of Aladdin Systems, the developers of Aladdin School Time. Now let's talk about Aladdin School Time's dashboard. If the dashboard is not displayed automatically after login, go to view on the menu bar, then on the dashboard, then click on the open dashboard to display the dashboard. You can avoid doing that all the time after logging to the system by turning on or off the automatic display of the dashboard. Do this by checking in or out respectively on the dashboard display on user next time login. Now, let me show you around the dashboard. This is the news flash area. It displays vital information like the current week, some important dates to remember, student attendance status, teachers on duty, activities for the week, and holidays. All these are various shortcuts to frequently used functionalities. These are the few models with various shortcuts to various functionalities. We have models like the student management, employees, smart accounts, assessment tools, and reports. This is where the school logo is displayed. These items displayed are just for the user's information. Now, without wasting much time, Move on to section one. Section one, create and activate school. The first thing that must be done is to create a school. Activating it means that you allow Aladdin school time to recognize a school that's supposed to manage. 
you might want at this section to add some school details like the type of school, motto, physical address, location, and telephone number. You can even add the school logo at this section. Now, let's create the school with the details that was given to us earlier on. You need to open the administration form where the school creation will be done. You can have access to the administration form in a number of ways. You can click on this button or this button to open the administration form. You can also go to file on the menu bar, then click on new and then on administration to also open the administration form. Let's choose to click on this very button here to display our administration form. Notice that there are three types of creation that can be done here. You can click on any of the tabs, that is school, class and term tabs to get started based on the type you want to create. You can create as many as there are schools, classes and terms based on the needs of the school. In order to create your school, click on the school tab. You will find the particulars of the default or current school displayed. Now, click on the new button here to clear the fields for the new school to be created. Under the school's profile tab, enter the name of the school. That is, example, El Shaddai Academy. Provide the other details and click on the purpose tab. Now, enter motto, mission, and vision of the school. Now, click on the examination tab and provide the details required. That is BEC and all WASI school codes. And also the number of digits of the student index numbers, excluding the school code. These codes are required when there is the need to generate index numbers for final year student. Next, click on the geographical tab to provide the other details such as the location, postal, telephone, and email. When done, Click on the Create button here to create the school. The system will generate school ID for the newly created school. Next, to get the crest for the school, click here and browse to select the school crest. After selecting your crest, click on Open to set the crest of the school. Now, the school has been created, but in order to allow Aladdin School Time Manage it, we need to activate it. In order to activate the school, click on the name of the school that is currently displayed on the main interface. A message box will appear for you to confirm the activation. Click on Yes to continue. The activate school form will now be displayed with the current name of school displayed in it. Now, click on this button here to look for the school you just created. Start by entering the name of the school you want to set in this text box. In this case, El Shaddai. When a name appears on the list, click on it. And also click on the select bu command button here to set the school. Now, click on this button here to confirm the activation. Done! You can now see the name of the school in Aladdin School Time, indicating that it has been activated. Section 2. How to create term details. There is the need to define the current term. This enables Aladdin School Time manages classes and terms easily and also at reporting times. As stated earlier on, you need the following in order to define a term. Academic year, the term itself, term start date, term end date, Number of May terms, number of holidays, May term date, and next term reopening date. Now, with the details that was given to us earlier on, let us create a term details. Click on the general options button here on the dashboard to open the general options forms. Now, under the select option, Click in the name drop-down control. 
scroll down and click on the term date. A form will be displayed to take the details of the term being created. Fill in the details as provided. Click on this button to confirm the details. When satisfied with the details, click on the create button here to define the term. Done. Section 3. How to create classes. A class, as we all know, is a body of students who are separated in a room and taught together in a school setting. In Aladdin school time, classes are created for each academic year to preserve student information. Now, with the details that was given earlier on, let us create the classes. Remember that we have only one class to create, but because the students in the class are many, we will divide the students into three and put them in class streams A, B, and C. So we will create three classes in streams. Now let's get started. Click on the administration button here on the dashboard to open the administration form. Now activate the class creation functionality by clicking on the class tab here. Click on the new button here to get started. Under the class profile tab on the form, select JHS1 in the class drop down control. You can also use this button to browse for the name of the class. If you browse and the class name is not found, you can use this button to add it straight so that you can select it. Now, select class stream A. Next, go to the remaining tabs on the forms to provide other information about the class you are creating. When you are satisfied with the information given, click on the create button here to create the class. Repeat the class creation process to create classes stream B and C. Now, let's see how we will create the terms that is A, B and C for each class we have created in the next section. Section 4. How to create class terms. A class term, as we all know, is defined as a definite period within a class. In general, we have three terms in a class. Alden School Time can allow you to create as many as there are terms within a class for the academic year. This is a unique feature of Alden School Time, which makes it possible to do student assessments for mock exams and the like all within a defined term as many times required within a class. Now we're going to create three terms A, B and C under each of the three classes streams we have already created. Let us create the first term that is term stream A under class JHS1 stream A. Before we start creating the terms we have to do one thing, that is, make Aladdin School Time aware of the term the school is in currently. To do that, the first thing that you must do is go to the school profile by clicking on this button. Click on the current term tab to display its forms. Now, set the details for the current term. Remember, we have already created the details for this term. Click on this confirmation button here to effect changes. Now we are ready to create terms in the current term that we have set. Okay, now let's create the first term. Click on administration button here on the dashboard to open the administration form. Now activate the term creation functionality by clicking on the term tab here. Click on the new button here 
to clear the needed fields to get started. Under the Term Profile tab on the form, click on this button to browse for the name of the class. Now, select Term Stream A. Next, click on the Status tab on the forms and enter the details here. Now, click on the Calendar tab on the form and enter the term details for the term you are creating. You can also click on this button, choose term dates to select the term details you want. Next, go to the subject tab on the forms here to enter subject details. You can import subject by clicking on the button import class subject to import a subject from a previous class. You can specify whether a specific subject is being taken by a subject teacher by checking this control beside the subject. You can also specify whether a specific subject makes use of SBA, that is school-based assessment method, by checking this control in line with the subject. When you are satisfied with the information given, Click on the Create button here to create the term. Repeat the term creation process to create all terms, that is, streams B and C for the class streams A and all terms A, B and C for each of the remaining classes B and C. This marks the end of Part 1 of the Aladdin School Time video tutorial series. Watch out for part 2, 3, 4 and 5 where we delve deep in the student management, smart school fees and accounts, assessments and some reporting tools in Aladdin School Time. Thanks for watching.